Annyeonghaseyo! My name is Kang Yesun, but my friends call me Kang. I'm 17, though I'm actually 16. <laughs> Don't you get it? Okay, I'll explain now. It's just that I'm from South Korea. According to tradition, when a baby is born in South Korea, they are considered a year old. Actually, I have a lot of good childhood memories. For example, I remember going to the flower festival, Hangbo, with my parents, where everyone wore traditional clothes. So beautiful. But when I turned six, they offered my dad a good job in New York, and our whole family had to leave Seoul. I went to an ordinary American school, and to be honest, I forgot my native language and culture. But I made a lot of friends. My life was pretty neat, until... Son, sit down for a second. We have something to tell you. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling, and my intuition served me well. My parents told me that because of my father's new job, we're moving to the suburbs. What? But all my friends are here. It's not fair. Stop acting up. I haven't even started yet. We could argue until the morning, but my granddad came up with a neat plan. He offered me to stay three months in the suburbia with my parents to see if I like it. If you don't like it there, you can go back to New York and live with me and your grandma. This seemed fair to my parents and me, so we made a deal. We soon moved to a small town, and I started going to a new school, but I didn't try to blend in or make any friends. I knew I was going back to the Big Apple in three months. Everyone around was acting weird anyway. At school, they looked at me with wide eyes and whispered to each other, especially girls. Am I dreaming or what? They kept giving me weird looks outside the school too. Some dude in the store even sneakily took a photo of me. What the hell is going on here? To attract less attention, I began to wear a hoodie wherever I go, but it didn't help. And one day, my classmate Michael suddenly told me he knew who I am. What? What are you talking about? You don't have to hide under the hood. Everyone already knows you're Sung Joon. My name is Kang Ye Sun, genius. That's a real one, yes, but you go by the moniker Sung Joon. You can't hide anything from me. I'm your number one fan. What are you talking about? But that's not even the weirdest part. When we were on a break, a crowd of girls bursts into the classroom. There he is! They surrounded me and demanded my autograph. I barely escaped. I had enough of it. I gotta figure everything out. At home, I googled Sung Joon and found out he's a popular Korean drama actor. He has recently posted on his social media that he was going to America on business. And also, wow, he looked exactly like me. That's it. Everyone mistook me for this actor. Everyone knew that Sung Joon was his moniker. So they were not surprised I used a different name when I was at school. I hated these K-dramas. I love wrestling and hard rock. In short, I was cut from a different cloth, and I didn't want to be confused with some cute actor from a chick flick. But the more I tried to tell them that this was just a big misunderstanding, the more obsessed they got. All the girls in town went crazy. They sent me plush toys and love notes in Korean. I left Seoul when I was a kid, and I have no idea what this means. One day, I was fleeing from a crowd of fans and decided to hide in the gym. Phew. I think I lost them. But I realized quickly that I wasn't alone. Some girl came up to me and handed me a notebook with a pen. Would you leave me alone already? I'm not Sung Joon and I don't give autographs. What? I don't care about your autograph or this actor. I need you to sign this petition so they would let me put together a rock band. Wow, this got my attention. I gladly signed the petition. The girl's name was Emma. We quickly found we had a lot in common. Turns out we had the same taste in music and she hates K-dramas too. I prefer horror movies. Me too! High five! Emma was really cool, but the rest of the school kept bothering me, so I decided to show up there as little as I could and started skipping lessons. I wish I could go back to my friends and forget this madness. For a while, I was skipping lessons without consequences, but soon, my parents called me to have a serious talk. <sighs> well, Kang, you're in trouble now. Kang Yi Sun, we got a call from school. Your grades are terrible because you keep skipping your classes. If you don't work on your grades, they could kick you out of school. And then, young man, our deal is off. You will stay with us and be under constant surveillance. No freaking way. I had to do something quickly. I didn't want to get stuck in this city. I had to start going to school again. The ecstatic fans of Sung Joon wouldn't leave me alone. How could I improve my grades living like that? Hello? I haven't seen you in a while. Were you on the set? Tell us what happens in the second season of Endless Love. How long are you going to stay in America? Do me a favor. Keep quiet for a second. Anything for my idol. Hmm. And then I came up with a brilliant plan. Anything? How about doing my homework for me? Yes! It would be an honor! I realized I could turn this situation to my advantage. They wanted Sung Joon, and they'll get him. I revamped my wardrobe, and voila! I started to pretend I was actually Sung Joon. Ah, he's even better in real life than on screen! I enjoyed my new privileges. I signed autographs and took selfies with everyone. And in return, my classmates were happy to do my homework for me and help me pass tests. Great, now I can definitely get out of here. I told the entire school to sign Emma's petition. 
the headmaster allowed us to put together a rock band and even arranged a rehearsal studio. After the lessons, I went there to check on the guys from the band. That was the only place where I could drop my vanilla boy act and laugh heartily with Emma. She always played the drums really well. <laughs> I can't believe they really think you're Sung Joon. So blinded by what they want to see, they never even bother to ask you to show the tattoo on the shoulder, the one the real actor has. <laughs> That's right! As you realize, I got it all under control. Soon, I became the best student in the school. I got closer to Emma and the guys from her band. By the way, they called themselves Desperados. That's so cool. But soon, I was in trouble. And that trouble had a name, Michael. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Deceiver. Wait, what? I know the truth. I heard your conversation with Emma. You're not the real Sung Joon. Finally, at least someone got it, but that wasn't the best time. Hey, hush, don't just yell like that. So Kang, if you want me to keep your little secret, you will do what I say. Did you hear that? I gritted my teeth from such impudence and wanted to put Michael in his place, but then I started to have second thoughts. If everyone found out the truth, my grades will be down again. Angry girls are gonna take revenge on me. If I have problems, my parents will never let me stay with my grandparents. <sighs> I had to agree to Michael's terms. I only have to wait one more month. <sighs> okay, have it your way. That's better. First, ask the students to help me with the tests too. And then I'll ask you for some more favors. <laughs> and he did. That weasel wanted me to say out loud that he was my best friend and the coolest guy in school. I started buying him lunch and even had to ask the girl he was in love with to go on a date with him. Well, I don't know. Michael's so nasty and boring. But for you, Sung Joon, I'll do it. Michael was enjoying his life and I became a prisoner to the image of a cutesy wootsy actor. I couldn't even show up to school in a wrinkled t-shirt because everyone was staring at me. Ah, that drove me mad. Michael, most of all. Sung Joon is nobody without me. He does whatever I say. I wish I could teach this arrogant fanboy a lesson. Whoa, Kang, what's wrong with you? A little more and there'll be steam coming out of your ears. If it wasn't for Emma, I'd lose my mind a long time ago. She always knew how to cheer me up. She offered me to try her way to get rid of negative vibes. You're gonna love it. Woohoo! <laughs> it's really fun. If you want, you can perform on stage with us. Our first concert is on Saturday. Are you coming? I won't miss it for anything. The next day, Michael crossed the line. I was getting my books out when he showed up and slammed my locker shut. Jesus, man, you almost pinched my nose. What do you want? A new game console has just been released. You catching my drift? No, I can't read the mind of idiots. I need money. Are you out of your mind? Where would I get so much money? Oh, well, you're a K-drama star. I'm sure if you ask the fans, they'll gladly lend you some. It was too much, even for a slippery type like Michael. I've run out of patience. I will never go so low. You know what? This has gone too far. I'm not gonna play by your rules anymore. You're going to regret this. The worst thing is that he was right. Michael will tell everyone the truth, and if my parents find out, it's all over. Hey Kang, why the long face? Had a sour apple? If only. I told Emma what happened. She suggested taking revenge on Michael. At first, I even wanted to do it. But what would it change? And besides, the blame is on me. I shouldn't have pretended to be someone else. The next day, the Desperados were giving their first concert at school, but I was determined to stay at home because I knew that freak Michael would expose me to the whole school. But Emma's call changed everything. You promised to come. This rock band was born thanks to you. You have to go to our first concert. At least do it for me. She's right. I won't act like a coward. This is what Michael expects from me. Besides, I really liked Emma. So I ran to school. Suddenly, I noticed a luxury car driving up to the entrance. A well-dressed Korean guy got out, accompanied by bodyguards. He noticed me and immediately approached me menacingly. sang -hee kun <clears throat> I'm talking to you, imposter. You pretended to be me. Now you're gonna get it. Damn, this is the real Sung Joon. And he definitely came to settle the scores. Get him! As if I needed more problems now. I hid in the rehearsal studio from the angry star's bodyguards and called Emma. Help! Mayday! I'm in trouble! Where are you? In the rehearsal studio. A good friend she is. Emma immediately rushed to the rescue. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm courageously hiding from my problems. I told Emma that Sung and his bodyguards were after me. And we began to think why such a star would even show up here. But of course! Half of the city got selfies with you. And then the fans posted pictures on social media claiming they met Sung Joon in the flesh. You're right. Apparently this is how he found out about me and came to deal with me. We need to sneak out of school and wait at home. Tomorrow, it'll be three months since I came here, and my parents will let me go back to New York. Wait, what are you talking about? I told her about my conversation with my parents. Emma seemed to be visibly upset. She agreed to help me get out of school, but now she looked very sad. 
We were sneaking down the hallway when we heard strange screams coming from the gym where the concert was held. We took a peek and that was hysterical. We saw Michael standing in the center of the crowd, shaking the real Sung Joon and struggling to prove that he was an imposter. He fooled us all. This is not a Korean actor. He's just an ordinary student. He doesn't even have a tattoo on his shoulder. And then Michael pulled up the t-shirt of Sung Joon, who was stunned by what was happening. And well, you guessed it. Everyone saw the dragon tattoo known to all the fans of the actor. I how is that possible? It's not real. I I'll prove it. But no one listened to him anymore. The crowd pushed Michael back and surrounded Sung Joon, screaming in delight. Suddenly, bodyguards appeared behind Emma and me and quickly pushed us into the gym. My classmates were looking at me in shock. Things were about to get real. Uh, am I seeing double? Which one is real? Please be quiet. I'm actor Sung Joon, and this is... He looked at me. I thought that now he will tell everyone I'm an imposter and set my classmates on me. But apparently, he decided to take pity on me and play along. <laughs> and this is my little brother. I forgive you, but don't pretend anymore. Whew. This Sung Joon turned out to be a stand-up guy. Now it was time to start the concert. The Desperados rocked the stage. Sung Joon was having fun along with other people. And then he suddenly got on stage and began singing along with the vocalist. The crowd went wild. After the concert, he told us that he only keeps his image of a glamorous guy for dramas. In real life, he's a cheeky rebel and loves rock. He told us he actually came to America to study in the Jazz Academy. Woo, Kang! Did you hear the crowd? We did it! You guys are so cool. And I didn't have time to finish my sentence because Emma suddenly kissed me. Damn, this girl never ceases to amaze me. That evening was amazing. The next day, I had a talk with my parents. You improved your grades and proved you're a reliable person. If you want to go back to New York and go to your old school, dad and I won't stop you. That got me thinking. Three months ago, I would have been happy to hear that. But during this time, <laughs> so much happened to me here. I met some cool guys and Emma. Mom, dad, I would like to stay here for a few more months. Of course, they were delighted. After the weekend, I went back to school. This may seem odd, but I was starting to like it here. Even though Sung Joon didn't really mean I was his brother, my weirdo classmates believed it. Hello, are you Sung Joon's brother? Can I take a picture with you? <sighs> of course. I see nothing has changed. Is everyone still crazy about you? <laughs> Tell me about it. So when are you going back to your Big Apple? Stay. Yes! Oh, uh, Kang, I'm so sorry. I, I won't bother you again. Well, Michael deserved it. As for me, I'm dating the coolest girl in the world. She teaches me drumming, and sometimes I even text Sung Joon. After what I've been through, I wanted to get back to my roots and learn about my native language and culture. My parents were very happy about this. And this summer, my family and I will go check on our relatives in Seoul. Have you ever moved to a different place? Tell us how you managed. 